Hi, my name is Marek Miller. Some of you may recall me from my former job. In 2019, I was the Google News Lab Teaching Fellow for CEE, where I was responsible for organizing workshops for journalists from all over Central and Eastern Europe. During that time, I conducted more than 120 workshops in 15 countries on topics such as news verification, data journalism, use of mapping tools in digital storytelling, and many, many others. Now that I'm kind of missing this journalistic evangelization, so to say, I thought maybe I could record some short videos around topics that I love, meaning media and journalism, that could maybe become some food of thought for others. So a friend of mine, Valentin Dimitriou from Romanian media outlet called Jara, reached out to me and asked me whether I could help him verify a piece of information he found in the New York Times. The news was about the supposedly FDA-approved rapid blood test that in just two minutes would give you results whether you are or aren't COVID-19 positive. New York Times was quoting Reuters on that, and so was Business Wire, and so were many other American media outlets as well. Now, if we are talking about credible news sources, in my opinion, brands like New York Times, Reuters, they rather fall into the category of credible ones, right? But does it give other media the right to rewrite the stories without checking them just because of the fact they consider their source credible? We decided to investigate a little bit the company that Reuters article was describing. Despite being a distributor of a number of medical supplies, oddly enough, their online communication had just begun one month prior to the supposed FDA approval of their product. Now, this didn't have to mean anything, but not having any kind of social media activity nowadays seems a little bit strange. Looking into FDA website wasn't much help as well. Within daily FDA statements about new approvals for different products, the name of the company was never mentioned. But there was a number of product symbols, although none of them matched anything you could find on the company's official website. None of them mentioned the name of the company at all. So Vali decided to reach FDA by himself via email. He sent them questions. Their response was very quick, although wasn't much helpful. They thanked uh, for letting them know about the problem and they promised to check the problem with their compliance team. So during the entire process of verification of the news in New York Times and also in the Reuters article, we couldn't find any kind of confirmation that the information there was true. Romanian Jara decided not to run the story. What they did was much more interesting. They wrote a long piece describing step by step why they weren't sure about the information itself. Today, it is much easier to verify this information. Just a day after the publication, more facts appeared. So the company that issued the statement about the FDA approval, supposedly has found the name of its brand on official FDA registry website, but being on this list did not necessarily mean that the FD FDA approval has been granted. So what is personally interesting to me is also the way that media reacted to false information. New York Times, that has always been famous for corrections of their article, they simply took the article off and the link does not work anymore. Something opposite to this was done by Reuters, which left the sublink of the article with information that the previous article that they published was not true. So yes, we live in crazy times nowadays. Don't let the rush for information fool you. Check your sources twice and always think critically. Until next time, bye.